For this demonstration, I'll be using the Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.17.1. .1. And some quick tips when you create your world, if you're starting from scratch, you want to change the mode to creative, change difficulty to peaceful, and allow cheats on, so you won't need to scavenge for your building materials. Under more world options, you'll want to change the world type to super flat to make things very easy for you. I'm going to name this world the Digital Twin Design Challenge and click on Create New World. It will create a blank flat canvas for you in creative mode and you can start going ahead and start building your Minecraft structure. Once you're satisfied with your structure, you will need to export it as a 3D model. To do that, we're going to be using Mineways, an open source application that will export your structure as a 3D model in the OBJ format. You can access the Mineways page by giving it a quick Google or going to realtimerendering.com and start by downloading the appropriate Mineways version for your operating system. I'm going to download the Windows version since I am on Windows and let's give that a moment to complete the download. With Mineways download completed and extracted, we'll want to navigate into the folder and start the Mineways application. This is an open source application, so Windows might give you a warning. You can just ignore this by going to More Info and clicking on Run Anyway. To start off the Mineways application, you'll want to go to File, Open World, and select the world that you created for this challenge. You'll see my blank world and a small village that came with it. You can hold left click to pan the camera and use middle mouse to zoom in and out. Once you see your building and you're satisfied with the camera, you can hold right click. Mineways might, might prompt you with some information about depth. The default is okay. You can hit okay here and target the area of interest. Once you're satisfied with the area, go to file export for rendering, and choose a location where you want this saved. I'm going to name this Digital Twin Design Challenge, and this will be saved as the default.obj file, which is, again, the common 3D model file format we'll be using for the iTwin viewer. Hit Save. You'll then be prompted with a bunch of options for the export. By default, each block is one meter in real world measurements. You can modify these. All of these defaults are fine. The only one that will make your life much easier is the toggle for make Z the up direction instead of Y. This is so your model will be upright when it gets uploaded into the viewer. You'll also notice we didn't specify depth yet. And by default, the minimum Y height is set to three if you're on a super flat world, which will actually take the grass below it. So you can increase the depth here to ignore the ground level by setting it to five. If you're on a super flat world, this might change if you're in your own world or whatnot, but setting it to five here with the super flat world should be sufficient. I'm going to hit okay. And that should give us our exported files. Once your files have been generated after export, open the file explorer to your files and navigate back to your iTunes viewer page. You'll notice the exporter generated three different file types, the .obj, which is our standard 3D object file format, a .mtl file, which provides mapping for the textures in your PNG files. You'll need all these files uploaded to get color on your structure. Just a quick tip, if you're on Microsoft Windows, you can use Microsoft 3D Viewer to preview the model before you upload. Here I'm using the 3D Viewer, but any OBJ visualizer will do. You'll notice the village I exported, and because I increased the minimum depth level to five, you'll only see the buildings and not the ground level grass blocks. So if you see something wrong with your model, you can go back into Minecraft or the Mineways exporter, change the settings, and get what you want. 